four minutes or less, I'm Felix. Today we're making Bailey's Liqueur Pistachio Cream Puffs. Let's get started. In a pan over medium heat, we're going to add our water, sugar, butter, and salt, and give that a little bit of a stir. When the water and butter are just starting to boil, we're going to take it off the heat and add our flour and we're going to keep stirring until we get a really sticky mixture. Once your mixture looks like this and you've let it cool for about 10 minutes, we're going to beat in our eggs one at a time. Once you have something that looks like this, we're going to transfer that to a piping bag, or in my case, I just use a freezer bag and I cut the side off of it, and we're going to pipe out circles on parchment paper that look something like this. Once you have all the cream puffs piped out, we're going to put that in the middle of a 425 degree oven, and we're going to bake those for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, your cream puffs should look something like this. However, to cool, we're going to turn off the oven and we're going to leave them inside with the door open. To make the filling, we're going to start with an egg white and we're going to beat that till it starts to get foamy. Then we're going to add the sugar and keep beating until it doubles in volume. You'll know the egg whites and sugar are done when you have stiff peaks like this. Next, we're going to take our white chocolate and Bailey's liqueur and we're going to melt that. I think I melted it in the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds. Finally, we're going to take our heavy cream and we're going to beat that until it doubles in volume and we get stiff peaks. We're then going to transfer all three components to a bowl and we're going to fold those to combine. Once the cream puffs are cool, we're going to take a serrated knife and cut about the top third off of it. The inside should look something like this, one big hollow pocket. To assemble the cream puff, we're going to start with some chocolate ganache in the bottom. To that, we're going to add our cream we made, put the top back on, add some more chocolate ganache, and then if you want to, you can add some chopped up pistachios like I did. All recipe amounts can be found at 4minutesorless.com in the description below. Thanks for watching.